Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I want to share my thoughts, my opinions on the October BoxyCharm and then I'm also going to preview the November BoxyCharm. Today's video is actually in collaboration with my beautiful, gorgeous, sweet friend Jen from Jen Loves Reviews. If you've never checked out her channel before, I totally recommend that you go check it out. She posts like nine videos a week. That seems like so impossible. That's so crazy that she is able to get that much content out. She posts a weekly, like a Monday through, Monday through Friday, there's a makeup minute. So she's going to tell you as much information as she can about new makeup releases and stuff like that within a minute time frame. She posts different reviews Monday, Wednesday, Friday. She posts reviews. And then on Sunday, she does a live chat with everyone. And then she also does the What's Up in Makeup for the week. So she will go through and tell you guys everything that's coming out, that's new releases for makeup and things like that. So... She has a very awesome channel. I am so surprised that she just recently hit 100,000 subscribers. I thought for sure she would have been way more than that by now because she is fantastic. She's very thorough. She will give you the ingredients analysis of every product that she reviews. She is a very, very well-rounded YouTuber. I think she just does a fantastic job. Please go check out her channel and let her know that I said hello. And thank you so much, Jen, for collaborating with me on this video today. So let's get into last month's reviews. So we have all of our products right here. So the first thing that we got last month was the most exciting product. It was the Becca highlighter. So we got the highlighter in Prosecco Pop. Am I not mistaking, but is this the one that they were saying that was like limited edition and there was like some big chaos about this little highlighter here? Pretty sure there was a big to-do about this highlighter. So here's what it looks like. It doesn't look the best on my skin. It's a little bit yellow when I put it on, but it works. So I like what I like to do with it is I like to use it for inner corner highlight. And then I also like to use it as a brow bone highlight if I want that banging highlight. But if I do it on my cheeks, I have to go in very, very light handed. You guys probably have already tried a Becca highlighter before and you probably already know that they're absolutely amazing. So I recommend these products. I think they're very, very nice, but I think that you have to find a color that's going to work for you the best. The formula of these are that you can get that to the moon type of highlight. You are going to get a highlight that's going to be totally popping. So if you're looking for a very good, strong highlighter, I recommend this. If you want a more, more natural type of highlighter, this is not going to be your cup of tea. So I like it, but it's something that I know I won't use every day because I don't like that banging type of highlighter. I like more natural type of highlights on myself just because I do have textured skin. I had a lot of acne issues and things like that. So my skin is still pretty textured. So I don't really want to emphasize that. Nobody wants to emphasize the texture that you have on your skin. So I think it's good but it's not my favorite, so I'm gonna swatch it for you. So this is what it looks like, it's a very gold sheen, so here's what it looks like on my hand swatch right there. It's really pretty, but like I said, it's such a very yellow tone to it that I think you have to find out. You have to, sorry about that guys, I'm trying to find a little thing here to wipe that off because I know me, I will make a mess with it. But anyway, I think it has to kind of match your skin tone and that just doesn't perfectly match me. I can use it, like I said, but I think it might be better for me like during the summer when I have a little bit more of a tan. Like right now, I'm like at close to my winter like skin tone. So right now I'm very fair. So I just don't know if that's going to be a perfect highlight for everyone. I think it's one of those that's going to be, it's going to work for a lot, a lot of people. But then again, with the people with the fair tones, I don't think it's going to work for them. Moving on. The next thing is this little kit here. This is the Nailed It by NCL. This is a collaboration with BoxyCharm that they did. This is just a little nail kit. So you get your little tools in here. This is a really nice little tool set. So I really do enjoy having this. I had this in my purse. I had to go pull it back out because it's something I like to keep in my purse. My nails right now are very, they're struggling big time. I used some harsh cleaners while I was scrubbing my floors and it kind of ruined my hands and my nails. So this was helpful this week because I had so many nails that were just breaking, or this past month, because I had so many nails that were just breaking off that I needed to file them down because you don't want to just leave that jagged edge because it starts to snag onto everything. But it does come with a little pair of scissors here. It comes with a little nail pusher. I think that's a nail pusher. Honestly, I'm not even sure what this little tool here is. But this one I'm pretty sure is the cuticle pusher. Then you've got your little nail file and then you've got your clippers. So I think it's a really cool set. And like I said, it's perfect to kind of throw into your purse. So I was actually excited to get that. That's a kind of useful tool, something I wouldn't have thought to buy myself because that's something that you just don't typically think, okay, I need to get that. But once you have it, you're like, man, I'm glad I have that little set because it comes in handy and sits in my purse nice and neat. Now let's move on to the next thing. This is the Jaunt Blue. This is the, what is this called? The Lip Liner Pencil in Brown Sugar. This smells really weird. It's got a really almost sour, like soured something smell to it. It just smells really weird. The wood to it is. I don't think it's the pencil itself, like the crayon itself. 
I think it's the actual wood. The wood smells very strange. It almost smells very soured. And I don't know if that's a good way to describe it or not, but I don't care for the scent of the wood. And I keep smelling it as I'm putting it on. I keep smelling that scent and I'm like, oh, that just doesn't smell appetizing. I'll go ahead and swatch it for you so you can see what color it is. It is a little bit more drying. It kind of tugs on your lips when you're trying to like put it on your lips. So I don't think it's the best lip liner that I've ever tried. But for me, I don't typically wear a whole lot of lip liners anyway. So for me, any lip liner is going to do. So if you're someone who's not super picky about lip liners, you're going to like it. But other than the scent to the wood, the wood smells really weird. So I don't know. That's just strange. The next thing is this little lip product from Tarte. This is the Tarte Tartist Lip Paint in Delish. This is actually what I'm wearing on my lips today, but I do have it topped with the Rihanna, the Gloss Bomb. Is that what it's called? I have it topped with that because I don't like a dry, like matte lip. I really never really liked that little whole thing that everybody was going through where they were like matte lip, matte lip, matte lip. I don't like that. So for me, I like a more glossy lip because I think glossy lips just look, makes your lips look a little bit more plush. It makes them look a little bit more fuller. So I just like a glossy lip. So I always add some sort of gloss to it. But this is very dry. When you put it on your lips, it will dry down to a complete matte formula, but it doesn't make your lips look a raisin. So if you're concerned that it's going to look like a raisin, this doesn't do it. It's just very dry feeling on my lips. I feel like I might have put a lip product and then patted it over with powder. That's how it feels on my lips. So I don't like that feeling. I like a more juicy lip. So I like the product. I think the color is really, really pretty. But again, I think if you are not into like matte lips, you're not going to like this. It's not super long lasting. I don't even think it's kiss proof. So I don't think this is something that if you're looking for like kiss proof or if you're looking for super, soft, super long lasting that you're going to like it. But if you like something that's just easy to apply, Maybe it's not so easy to apply either, actually, because I had to, like, concentrate as I'm doing it, because if not, I knew I was going to end up with clown lips, so I don't know. I just, I think it's a good product. I like the way they smell. They smell pretty good. They smell pretty good. They smell a little bit sweet. I like the doe foot applicator on it. I just don't like the formula. So for me, the formula is just, no. The, I think that's it, actually. Is that it? The, yes. Oh wait, no, I have missing one item. I need to go grab one item out of my bathroom. Hang on, hang tight. Okay guys, I grabbed my last product that I was missing out of my box. This is like the most expensive item too. So this is the Dr. Brandt, the Pore Dermabrasion Pore Perfecting Exfoliator. I had it in my bathroom because I was using this a lot. I love the way this feels on my skin. It feels like almost like if you would take salt or sugar and just add a little bit of water to it and then that the way that that feels, the texture onto your hands. That's exactly how this feels in my opinion. But it doesn't feel rough on your skin. So when you put it on, I don't feel like it's super exfoliating to where you're like, oh my gosh, my skin feels raw now. It does not do that whatsoever. I even use this with my Foreo, which is probably a big no-no. I do it anyway. I like the way that that works for me. It doesn't really have a super strong scent or anything to it. It just really helps to kind of get that layer of dead skin off your face, fluff that off, and then help to regenerate more new skin. So I really like this product. I think it's an excellent product. I totally would repurchase this after I run out of this one. They did give you a full size. Everything in BoxyCharm is pretty much full size, so that's the other beneficial thing. But after I've run out of this one, I think I would definitely purchase another one. This is $58 though, guys. So that's why I say this is a very expensive item, but it's really, really good. So I, for, for me, out of this box, this was my favorite item. I love this so much. My next favorite, believe it or not, is the nail kit. Crazy enough. Then I would say the highlighter. I really like the highlighter, but I like it for certain things and I have to be careful how I use it. And then it would be the lip paint. And then lastly would be the lip liner. I just, first of all, I don't love lip liners. And secondly, it smells really sour. So that's just not ap appealing to me in my opinion. So for me, I would still give this a four out of five for stars for rating for the box. So I think that it was a really good box in my opinion. I don't think it was the best one box charm has ever sent us, but I'm not unhappy with it. If I saw this box sitting on a shelf for $21, would I pay $21 for it? Heck yeah, I totally would. So Again, you only pay $21 and you're getting all these products here to try out. So I think it's totally worth it. Now let's move on to the November box. Let's see what we got this time. So the box looks like this. If you've never seen a BoxyCharm box, this is what it looks like. You pop it open and then, and the one thing I love that BoxyCharm has changed, they used to put all these little worms in there and they were such a mess and they would stain some of your products. Now they've added this little foam piece in here, which is awesome because then it helps to protect the items and you don't have all those little worms floating all over the place. They do give you a card and the card does have all the information that you're going to need to know about your products. It's going to give you the retail value and a little bit of information on how to use the product. So I love their cards versus Ipsy's cards. Ipsy's cards are just, 
useless pieces of paper. They're just killing trees. So I'm going to hold on to this card as we're pulling items out of here so I can tell you guys a little bit about them. So the first thing out of here is the Cover FX. This is the Illuminating Setting Spray. I recently purchased this from Cover FX, so I know how this works already. This is really cool, but you need to shake this stuff. If you do not shake it, you're going to have a major problem. You will end up looking like Edward Cullen's. Can you hear the little ball in there that's going to shake this around? You will end up looking like Edward Cullen's. You will have sparkles all over your skin, so you won't want to go out into the sunlight. So just make sure you shake it because you want to get those little... Uh, particles mixed up really well so that it doesn't come out in one big clump on you or anything like that. So shake it up and then you can spray it. It's got a really, I'm going to spray it on myself. It's got a really, do you see how fine the mister is on this? It's got a really, really super fine mister. So you don't have to worry about saturating your skin. It's just giving you a super fine mist. I think because it does have a little bit of sparkles into this though, I think this is going to be perfect for like date nights and things like that where you want to look a little extra sparkly. It might look really good on your body too. I haven't tried it like that, but that might be an idea now that I have two of them. The next thing in my box is, oh wait, let me tell you about the product there. I just was so excited that I've already tried it so I could let you guys know a little bit about that one. So that is the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. The manufacturer suggested retail price is $31. It says a quick drying setting spray that sets makeup for all day wear and imparts instant all over illumination because it's giving you sparkles. That's why it's giving you illumination. It's alcohol free so it's not drying to the skin. Perfect for all skin tones and types. So I agree with everything they're saying there. So I think it will give you that illumination. But again, make sure you shake it up because if not, you will have sparkles everywhere. Okay, the next thing is this Luxie product. This is the Luxie... Uh, and Boxy Charm, so it's a collaboration. This is the Quad Eye Travel Set. These are so cute. I like when they send the little travel ones because I think they're perfect to throw into your purse. So if you are someone who actually is subscribed to Ipsy as well as Boxy Charm, these will fit perfectly into the little Ipsy bags. So if you want to make yourself a little personal makeup bag to keep, carry with you in your purse, these fit perfectly in there. So I'm excited. Oh, my fingers are very sore. So sorry, guys. It's going to take me a second to open this. Okay, got them open. These are the pink handled ones, and they do have little protectors on each of these. So let me remove them quick so I can show you what they look like. I have several Luxie brushes. I have several sets that I purchased from Luxie. I have several sets that I purchased from Ipsy. Luxie is usually in a lot of subscription services, so if you are looking to try out Luxie, just know that you will get a lot of different brushes from Luxie and subscription services. And I think they're now being sold at Nordstrom. I'm pretty sure that's where Luxie is being sold. So here's how they look. They're very tiny, really like short little brushes. You get a 2277, which looks, looks like a more like a shader brush. Then you're getting a 221T, which is like a flat brush. And it's like completely flat. It's like flat this way and then it's flat that way as well. So it's flat all the way around. Then you're getting a 213T. I don't, honestly guys, I'm going to try to sit here and explain these to you, but I don't even have any idea what half of these brushes are for. I pick up a brush and I use it for whatever I want to. I don't really go by the specific names, but they're for. Then we get a 207T. Now this one is an angled, flat, like an angled, not crease brush, an angled shader brush. So there's an angled one as well. So you're getting four little brushes and like I said, they're perfect to throw into your purse. So... I'm excited to try these out and see if they're just as good as the full size. Let's talk about the value of those. It says the value of those is $32. It says take your eye game on the go with this quad travel set created with handcrafted synthetic brushes. So $32. That's a little pricey for those. In my opinion, that's pricey. Okay, the next thing in here is ooh, some KNC Beauty All Natural Collagen Lip Infused Masks. I have a, several of these lip masks. They never stay on my lips, so hopefully these will stay on my lips. I always put them on, and they end up rolling down. They feel kind of like, if you guys have ever made, like, gelatin, like jelly, like, bowl full of jelly. What is that called? Is that jello? I couldn't think. If you've ever made jello, and it gets that thin layer of, like, that skim on it, that's exactly what these lip masks feel like. So, they always roll off my lips, though. They don't stick. So, let's see what it says about these. It says, innovative jelly masks that are for your for your lips that hydrate, moisturize, and plump your pout with natural ingredients. So I'm glad that they're natural. And you do get three of these, and it says the suggested retail value of these is $15. So five bucks a piece, that sounds about average. So we'll try those out and see if they stay on my lips. The next thing is something from Laka, Laka Cloud Lips. 
Laka, L-A-Q-A, Laka. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it, but I could be wrong. So this is Cloud Lips. I love the tubing to that. It looks really fancy. Fancy, fancy. Oh my gosh. Now that's a bright color. Holy smokes. Look at that color, guys. I'm going to swatch it so you can see it. Oh, it's like, oh no, it's pretty pigmented. Look how bright. Oh my God, I gave you a major swatch too. Smell it. See if it smells like anything. I don't smell anything, so... Mm, I don't know though. That color is super bold, super bright. I am terrible about wearing bold, bright lips. That's why I have a mirror sitting here to keep watching because I know I'm going to get lipstick all over my teeth. I'm really terrible about that. So I know when I wear a bold, bright lip, I need to be conscientious that I'm wearing a bold, bright lip. So I'm not super stoked to wear that, to be honest with you. I like more like nude lips. Oh, it's staining though, guys. So it might have some longevity to it. So let's see what it says about the Lacaco. Laka and Co. Yeah, cloud lips. It says an air, an airy matte lipstick that provides full coverage, but feels light, feels as light as a cloud. This highly pigmented lipstick has a matte finish for long-lasting, fluffy, pouty lips that stay put. So the suggested retail value for this is seventeen dollars. So again, we've we've more than paid for our box already by getting these samples, but we have to find out by using them whether or not they are actually worth that twenty-one dollars to you in your opinion. So that's why it's good to try them out. The next thing and the last thing in the box is a little palette. Isn't that cute? That is super cute. I wish it was puppies instead of kitties, though. This is the Winky Lux Kitten Palette. Oh, super cute. Let me just show you these kittens. Oh my gosh, they're adorable. They are so stinking cute. Let's see what the colors... Oh, it's cracking. So here's what the colors look like in this palette. It does not have a mirror inside of here, so... We'll have to see. They do have names on the back of here. I love the names. There's Purr, Duchess, Strut, Holographic, Nine Lives, Cat Eye, Romeo, Cheshire, and Boots. I love the names they put on here. So I'm excited to try that out. That looks like pretty promising, to be honest with you. It's got a little bit of, uh, it looks like more of a cool tone, but it's got some warm tones. Not really. This is cool tone to this. more of a purple. So I guess it's a cool tone palette. I don't know. I'm not really good at telling cool tone, warm tone. To me, it looks more cool tone because it's got these blue and these purples in here. So I think it's a cool tone palette with a little bit of brown and bronze mixed in there. So let's see what it says about this product. It says the Winky Lux Kitten Palette, the suggested retail value is $25. That's expensive. This says, not really. That's not really that expensive, actually. It's about the same price as what a... Uh, uh, ColourPop palette is, so I guess it's not that pricey. It says these ultra soft shadows glide on like a dream. The universally flattering collection of shades makes this palette as lovable as a kitten. It features highly pigmented shadows and four finishes. Holographic, matte, satin, and glitter. So there's four different finishes in here, so that's exciting. Glitter. I don't see glitter in here, though. Do you guys see a glitter? Am I blind? I don't see a glitter in here. I do see a satin. And then the holographic, I know there's been a lot of controversy about people calling their eyeshadows holographic because technically it's hard to be holographic. So we'll see how good it is. But all in all, it looks like a pretty good box for November. It looks like a lot of fun things to try out. And the value for this is, let's see, 32, 31, 25, 17, 15, $120, guys. So this is a $120 box. I think that this song, like I said, it sounds very promising, so hopefully everything in here works out well for me. I know I already like this, so that's exciting. And I know I typically like the Luxie brushes. These are just smaller versions of them. The palette looks very interesting. The lip product is the only thing that really kind of scares me, and the lip masks are just like, they don't typically work for me. So those are the two things I'm a little bit on the fence about. Anyway, I'd love for you guys to go check out Jen's channel if you have not checked her channel out before. Go check her out. Let her know I said hello. And again, thank you so much, Jen, for collaborating with me. And thank you guys for so much for watching. I appreciate you so much. If you'd like to subscribe, I would love for you to stick around. Thank you again. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later.